Uber is testing legal boundaries in California, and this isn't the first time. Remember, first Uber argued about issues regarding criminal background checks of some of its drivers. And this time around, it's whether or not its cars are truly autonomous or not. So joining us now to break it all down, Roger Chang, executive editor over at CNET. So Roger, let's figure out what's going on here. Tell us exactly what happened on the streets of San Francisco. It wasn't Carl Malden and it wasn't Michael Douglas, but it did happen on Wednesday. So yes. what exactly is going on with these cars? So actually CNET reported this first, but they, uh, they did launch their self-driving program in San Francisco yesterday. Cars hit the road, uh, a fleet of these self-driving cars. Now, uh, what happened almost immediately was the DMV uh, came out publicly and said, Uber, you've got you've to stop. You've got to halt this whole thing. You didn't get the special permits that are required for self-driving cars. So uh, once again, Uber has gotten himself into legal hot water. All right, so we're seeing video right now of these Uber autonomous cars. First of all, it's, I mean, from what I hear, it's $150 for a permit. Right. Why wouldn't Uber just pay $150 for a permit? And what advantage does the company have by not getting a permit? You know what? I mean, this has been Uber's MO from the start. You know, it's better to ask for forgiveness than that seek permission. Uh, they, they've done this when they launched the service. They, they never got permission from the city of San Francisco when they launched the service. Uh, so this is really part of their standard playbook. They just go out and, and they deal with the legal consequences afterwards. All right. So fine. That's a philosophy to have. The company is being somewhat brash, as they have in the past, like you said. It, it's basically saying Uber doesn't need California. It says it can go to other states that are more pro-technology. So how do you see this kind of scuffle playing out between Uber and California? And does California need Uber, or is it better the other way around? Well, look, for sure, Uber has other uh, cities that it's testing out. In, in Pittsburgh, uh, they've got self-driving cars there. Pennsylvania has, does not have self-driving car legislation yet. Uh, Uber. I think Uber needs the needs California. I mean, it needs to be in the the center of technology, right? And so, uh, it, this is Uber picking a fight that well, it's hoping to, I guess, just take on to raise this issue. Now, it's important to note that the, you know they're arguing that because there is a driver in each one of these these cars, a safety driver, that that they're not technically fully self-driving cars and don't require that permit. So that's that's their main argument. So it's a manual override. There's a person there at the wheel just in case things don't go well. So here, here's another question. Don't Uber drivers all drive their own personal cars anyway? So, so how do autonomous cars really change things overall? If there's a person in there right now for testing purposes, maybe they go fully autonomous. How does that dynamic play out over the medium to long term? Right. Well, this is the long term goal for Uber is they want to remove the human element. I think that's been one of the, the, the thorniest parts of their business. If they get rid of the driver and the costs associated with the driver and having their own car, uh, that frees Uber up a lot. And so uh, if I'm an Uber driver, I would be a little worried. I'd be a little bit wary of this project. Again, because of the, the need for regulations, the fact that technology is still pretty nascent, this is still a ways away from being a mainstream service. But uh, definitely Uber is looking to ultimately cut out the human element from their business. Obviously a controversial topic. Anytime we talk about auto automation or autonomous anything, it's about whether or not jobs will be there in the future for all those involved. Roger, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your thoughts. Roger Chang, he's the executive editor over at CNET. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.